going mad, it's where you're going Everybody gonna know one day that you're gonna make it, yeah So keep going, one day the results will start showing Let's go, let's go. It's your man Mike Bowens coming to you once again, live and direct. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's your man Mike Bowens coming to you once again, live and direct from Unleashing the Creativity Within You. I got another powerful message for you. This message is entitled, The Law of Instruction. That's right, The Law of Instruction. Every failure in life can be traced back to a failed instruction. When people fail to adhere and listen to wisdom and knowledge from people who have done it before them, from the Word of God, or from um, messages and insight and divine revelation, then guess what? They've run into a brick wall every time. Let me read what the scripture says. It says in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 20, and I'm gonna read verse 20, to uh, 23 it says those who listen to instruction will prosper I'm gonna stop right there but I'm gonna keep going <laughs> those who listen to instructions will prosper those who trust in the Lord will be joyful so let me ask you something if a person is doing the opposite of prospering they are failing to prosper means to succeed now, automatically, when people hear prosper, they just think money alone. But prosper means to succeed, to have success, to, um, to advance, to move forward. So when people are constantly stuck, oftentimes it's because they don't have the instructions in order, they don't have the instructions to move past where they are. Once you understand and you get the instructions on how to move from where you are to the next level, Life gets a lot easier, ladies and gentlemen. But once you don't know what to do, then you become frustrated. It says, those who trust in the Lord shall be joyful. How many people you know that's just bitter, frustrated? They hate their job. They hate where they live. They hate the car they drive. They hate everything about their life. So therefore, they just exist. But these are the same people who won't take instructions. These are the same people who won't take correction. These are the same people who won't listen to anything that anyone has to say because they feel like they could do it on their own. And my question is, if you knew better, wouldn't you be doing better? So when you look at a person's life, right, and you see where they are, I can almost guarantee I can trace back to an instruction that was given to them that they disobeyed or refused to follow that led them exactly where they are right now. Because life is choice driven. Life is choice driven. You will live and die by the choices that you make. And so if someone who is successful, if someone who has made mistakes in the past, if, if the word of God is being read to you and you value it, that is, and you hear it, you say, okay, I gotta make these different adjustments in my life because if I don't, that's my destination, right? Because the opposite of prospering is to fail. Everything some people do, it fails and they don't understand why. And they're frustrated and they feel miserable, right? So verse 20, those who listen to instruction will prosper. Those who trust the Lord will be joyful. The wise are known for their understanding and pleasant words are persuasive. Verse 22, Discretion is a life-giving fountain to those who possess it, but discipline is wasted on fools. Boom! That's a bomb going off. But discipline is wasted on fools. The Bible is calling a person a fool who lacks discipline. Now, when you receive an instruction, it's gonna be discipline that allows you to follow that instruction. 
But if you're the type of person who is rebellious, if you're the type of person who's a know-it-all, if you're the type of person who don't reach out for help, and then when you get the help, you run with it, you take it, and you don't be a person who's just a hearer of the word, but you actually do the word, then guess what? Your life is constantly going to be stagnant. You're constantly going to be running into a brick wall. But if you want to be a person that's a game changer, if you want to be a person who every year succeeds and goes to another level and goes from one level to the next to the next, if you want to be a person that has constant progress in their life, then you must be a disciplined person. You must be a person who follows the law of instruction. You break the law of instruction, then life is going to try to break you because the instructions that you fail to follow will hinder you and slow you down in ways that you can't see right now right let's just make this very plain and simple and clear when you when you go to work right your supervisor or your your your, your the boss whatever gives you an instruction to follow if you do not follow those instructions it's quite possible that you can lose your job. You lose your job, you can't pay your bills at home. You got to pay your mortgage or your rent, whatever. If you have a car payment or whatever, you got to pay these things. So by you not following these instructions, you are hindering your life. Now, maybe you have an idea for a business. Maybe, maybe you want to get married. And God says, right, marriage is kept. I mean... Sexual intimacy is kept for the marriage bed. But you with Mr. Doc Chocolate, you with you with Miss Wonderful, you know, and you ignore that. And so you making love. And next thing you know, he got your cookies. And he don't care about you no more. And now you got kids to raise by yourself. And not saying that you can't overcome it, but now you made it a lot harder than your life has to be because of a failed instruction. Right? Failed instructions always set you back and push you back further than you have to be. You want to make some changes? You want things to turn around in your life? Begin to obey God. Begin to obey His Word. Because it's a law that cannot be broken. Just like gravity says, what goes up must come down. But if you want to obey God's word, then that's when your life will begin to change and you begin to go up and you begin to see success manifest and happen in your life. I hope this message encouraged somebody out there, strengthened somebody out there to understand that God has spiritual laws that cannot be broken. And when you follow them, your life will take a turn for the better. This is your man, Mike Bowens, and I'm signing off until next time saying, be blessed.